Hi guys, welcome to my channel Selenium Tech Automation. In this video, we will discuss about how to generate reports in our Cucumber framework. Okay, so for example, whenever we are doing any test execution, it is mandatory to understand how many tests are passed and how many tests are failed. Right, so it is mandatory to understand that output of the test, whether it is passed or failed right so and also we can conclude that whether it is manual execution or as well as automated automation test execution okay if it is an automation test execution so we need to store all our reports in any one of the folder present inside our project right so that we can able to see all the test methods result in terms of pass or fail okay and also inside our bdd cucumber framework there was no like popular reporting mechanism but this cucumber itself it is providing some features to generate at basic level reports in terms of html report or html report or json report so okay so based upon this we can generate some basic reports if you want to add more features to your extent report i mean uh, more features to your reports means we can depend upon extent reports or json report okay so now we will see one by one so how exactly we can generate html report and also how exactly we can generate our json uh, file report and also in our upcoming video we will see how to configure extent report in cucumber framework as well okay so first we will discuss about how we can uh, generate some uh, simple report like uh, we have almost uh, only okay only one input value that is username and password so for this once the execution got completed how we can generate some basic report and we will see okay so here for the first basic report i am using one plugin that is called as pretty okay so here pretty means in if you can observe in our testng.xml file so where we are using one keyword that is called as verbose okay so where i am mentioning verbose equals to 5 or 10 based upon that i am getting some detail output in the console right so in the same way we can use this pretty plugin to get the same output inside our console but it is not generating any external report but we can see the detailed console output with the help of plugin called as pretty okay so that pretty we are adding inside our cucumber options so where we have defined our feature file along with the step definition file that is orange hrm definition okay so now we will see how we can add that pretty plugin here okay how means so after glue once if i define glue so after that i am adding one plugin that is called as plugin equals to pretty okay plugin equals to okay plugin equals to pretty okay it is also like similar kind of thing where we performed inside our test ng that is uh, verbose equals to some uh, count we are giving like 5 or 10 or 2 so based upon that we will get some detail output inside our console part okay so now i have kept here plugin equals to pretty so now we will see whether uh, how we are getting the detail output inside our console okay so now let me execute this one and we will see okay so these are all very basic uh, information before going to extent report generation with the help of cucumber framework okay execution got completed and let me go to our console here we can see okay here we can see it is uh, by looking into this we are not able to understand in detail way right so while reading the above lines we are not able to understand beans because there is some difficulty on understanding the generated report or generated console output right and also you can see there are some special characters also coming right so if you want to remove or if you want to understand it in more detail way means we need to add one uh, parameter that is called as monochrome okay if we use this monochrome we can 
easily okay we can able to read it in a proper way without having any special characters we will get some plain console output so how we can add we will see that one now okay how we will add we will see that one now so nothing go to the same test runner class and add one line that is called as monochrome okay by default this monochrome is set to false but we need to enable it to true so then only we can able to understand our generated console output in clear way okay so here you can see it is not giving that much idea okay that much overall output of the execution because there are some question mark is coming and there are some uh, remaining extra things are coming like right so that's why if i want to make it more readable so i need to add one parameter for our uh, cucumber options annotation so that parameter here is what i am adding here is so that is okay that is monochrome equals to true okay monochrome chrome equals to each one monochrome equals to true by default this monochrome is set to false okay if i want to use this monochrome feature means we need to set that monochrome value to true so you can see here the difference now okay before adding monochrome we are getting this as output right and also it is giving some detail way like scenario outline successful login if you go to our feature file here also you can find the scenario outline at the same time what are the steps we are written here so in the same way you can find it from console as well if you go to console okay see but there is some difficulty on reading the generated console output so if we want to read it in a proper way means we are adding one keyword or one parameter that is called as monochrome equals to true by default this monochrome value will set to false but we are enabling with the help of one value that is true so now let me execute this one and we will see our console output how it is looking now after adding monochrome equals to true okay so now it is entering the username and password and it is quitting from the execution or it is closing all the open browsers in current session okay so now go to your output console output here you can see now we are getting it in proper detail way okay so we don't have any special characters here it is telling each and everything in a clear way like for the first step that is given open browser and launch application we are getting this one like this is our method name okay after that enter valid and i mean enter valid username and enter valid password so this one and user enter valid admin and valid password admin one two three then user should be able to log in successfully means what the parameters we have passed here into our orange hrm application we are getting everything in a clear way now right so this is how we can use this monochrome equals to true Okay. so if you want to know uh, like the time duration for each and every step so for example how much time it took for opening browser and launching our application after that how much time it is taking for entering the username and password after that how how much time it is taking for login to the application with valid username and valid password after that how much time it is taking for closing the browser okay so to know about all these details we are using one more parameter that is called as plugin equals to usage okay if i mention plugin equals to usage means we will get how much time is taking for each and every step during our execution okay so now let me add that plugin equals to usage here now i am removing this pretty instead of pretty i am using one <coughs> parameter that is called as usage okay by keeping the same like monochrome equals to true okay now let me execute this one and we will see as of now you can see here there was no time duration for each and every step it is not displaying after adding this usage parameter here then we are getting time duration as well how much time it is taking for each and every step to execute okay so now let me execute this program run as junit test simple 
okay now you will see some different output here okay so what are the different steps and what is a step name and how much time it is taking in terms of average or median so those details we will get it now inside our console part okay so now if you go to here you can see okay now you can see here so for the first step that is called as open browser and launching application it is taking this much of time okay and also where exactly our feature file is located so under my e drive test ng tutorials cucumber framework project inside that feature file folder inside that my feature file got located and also you can see for the next step user entering the valid username and valid password okay here you can see name user enter valid username that is admin and valid password that is admin123 how much time it is taking and also it is taking from feature file that is rnhrm dot feature file and now if you go to login so user able to login successfully how much time it is taking on clicking the login button okay so with the help of usage we can uh, i mean we will get more detailed about the duration how much time it is taking for each and every step execution okay so this is how our code will looks like if i use pretty means plugin equals to pretty means you will get everything in console but we are not getting in a readable format so that's why i'm adding here monochrome equals to true so then all the special characters or any other things if console output is having means so those will be removed after adding the monochrome equals to true by defaultly this monochrome is set to false we need to enable it for reading in a proper way okay once that is done just now we saw about usage as well so with the help of usage we can able to get along with the time duration as well for each and every step how much time it is taking right so now we will see how we can generate our html report in our cucumber framework okay so for that what i will do so i will use the same like plugin equals to pretty okay plugin equals to pretty is one set of parameter okay plugin equals to pretty is one set of parameter followed by I am adding one more thing okay so now I am generating like report in form of HTML report right HTML so where exactly I want to store my HTML report so I am going to store inside my okay inside my target folder okay by defaultly maven project will give you one folder that is called as target folder inside that target folder I am storing my html report for the execution right so in this particular target folder i am going to create one report that is called as cucumber okay cucumber html report right cucumber html report this is my report name that is cucumber html report after that remaining lines will be the same that is monochrome equals to true so now if you go to your target folder and if you can see here we don't have anything currently inside this target folder so now i am storing i am generating one cucumber html report and storing into this target folder okay i am storing into this target folder right so now we will see how we can generate this one and also cucumber will allow us to generate these reports in different formats that is html format as well as json format as well as xml format as well as txt format okay we can generate our execution reports in these different different formats okay under that our first approach here is with the help of html report right so with the help of html reports we are generating reports here okay so now let me execute this test runner class and we will see the output now so inside this target folder we don't have anything currently so this time it is going to generate one report inside our target folder okay so let me yeah it is executing currently okay once it is done 
it got logged in successfully okay so with the help of monochrome equals to true we can able to see everything inside console part in a clear way now we can able to understand these lines so once if you go to your project and if you refresh your project means you can see here okay one report got generated now which is in the form of dot html right so now let me open with system editor and firefox right open this one okay click on not now here you can see past and execution scenario summary only one scenario we have how much time it took like 22 seconds it is taking and implementation the dependency tag file and runtime where exactly i am running that is open jdk 64 bit server virtual machine and 17 is my java version and what exactly the operating system that is windows 10 and cpu architecture that is amd 64 here you can see here exactly our results got located that is given each and every step we will get it from here and username and password only one time we have like input and i mean username and password we are entering into our application right to login so this is how we will get if you have multiple scenarios as well inside this particular feature file means we will get those many like individual scenario outlines will be available here okay this is how an html report will looks like along with the time duration and how many are passed if there are any failure also we can able to see that failure part as well here okay so this is about generation of html report inside our cucumber framework and now we will see how to generate report in terms of json format okay in terms of json format how we can generate we will see it now okay so now i am adding the same like plugin equals to pretty so here i am changing that one okay here i am changing instead of html i am changing it to okay i am changing it to json that's it okay that is json okay json under target folder i am generating this particular report so we need to mention the extension that is json right kumar dot json okay so now let me execute this runner file okay this is our html report now we will see our json report as well Okay, once it got completed, our JSON report will be stored inside our target folder. Okay, it got logged in successfully. And if you go to your console part, it got completed. Okay. Now, let me go to our target folder and let me refresh. Here you can see only one Cucumber HTML report file we have. And after refreshing, you can able to see one file that is called as cucumber.json file so now let me open with system editor it will ask you to choose the application so i am taking here firefox and click on ok okay so this is our json report for the test execution here you can see elements line one okay so what exactly the feature name here that is uh, step name successfully login with valid credentials and keyword is scenario outline okay so that is passed open browser and launch application got passed but we are using keyword called as given at the same time user entering a valid username and valid password status is passed okay so after that what is our next step here user should be able to log in successfully what is the keyword i have used then and what is the keyword i have used for the above step and so likewise we will get our cucumber report in terms of json report okay this is about json report and where exactly my feature file got located that is feature file folder under that orange hrm dot feature is my feature file name 
okay so this is how we can uh, use some feature report this these are all the basic feature i mean uh, reporting feature in our cucumber framework okay in next video we will see how to generate or how to configure okay in our next video we will see how to configure extend report and LU reports inside our cucumber framework and how we can generate we will see okay if you like this video please drop a like and please subscribe to my channel for more videos and also please share our videos to your friends or colleagues so that our videos will recommend for more people in terms of youtube point of view okay thank you so much guys we will connect with our upcoming videos take care everyone until then signing off selenium tech automation thank you so much